Alrighty, we're gonna shoot a Werner 5x5 using the Heritage Arms Roscoe, AKA a newer version of the Taurus Model 85. I did a little bit of shooting with this gun earlier today just to see where the sights were hitting with different ammos. One of the things I was noticing is that my point of impact was uh, different than the point of aim. In reality, I'm just very, very used to shooting J-frames. And the Roscoe has a much deeper rear sight, which is great because that means that we actually get like a better sight picture. The issue is that I was sinking the front sight just a little bit high. So I had rounds going high, right? So it's kind of like I have to retrain my brain a little bit. It's, it's close enough to a J-frame that it's throwing me off. If it was more distinct, I feel like I wouldn't have had that issue my first couple of times with this gun. But, you know, alas, here we are. I'm going to shoot a Werner 5x5 with this gun from concealment. I have it crammed into a JM holster that's made for J-frames, but it fits the gun safely. Uh, first load in the gun's going to be uh, five rounds of 148 grain wad cutter, and then five reloads of 158 grain service load, so a, a lead round nose. I'm going to shoot the bottom... Uh, five inch circle that i've got here and yeah so we're in our five by five so five rounds five seconds five yards five times in a row and a five inch target shouldn't be too hard here aside from the fact that i penetrated through my palm using the ejector rod on my smith 43c so that will impact my grip a little bit at this distance i don't think it's gonna play a big part but it's still a data point Alrighty, starting on beep here Get those out of there. Uh, I didn't mention it, but you can probably see as I look down, I'm wearing gym clothing. Uh, two to three times a year, I try to go out and shoot in my gym clothing. The reason why is because, well, you know, I carry a gun at the gym and I, I wear this set get up here. So 448, so we were half second uh, under part time there. Uh, first round was 229. Uh, that was just because it was my first draw stroke with this gun today. So yeah, and I've got my fanny pack on my chest. I guess it's more of a chest pack. I have two reloads in here and I have one more in the pocket. From here on out, it's all 158 grain uh, lead round nose. So a surface load. So it'll be a fair bit smokier here. Starting on beep. Get those out of there. That felt a hair faster. My thumb placement on my firing hand was a little low, and I had the uh, cylinder release uh, bump the thumb a little bit while I was shooting. Not that it caused any issues, but it was just a, a minor um, uncomfortable thing. I could kind of feel it impacting my thumb fingernail. And you're like, why are you saying all this stuff, Paul? It doesn't matter. When you're shooting, you start to notice certain things that will, um, you know, play a part that could be a thing in reality when you're actually shooting. I'm going to transition these two speed strips to my right pocket, and we'll look at the timer here. 395, so I knocked a, a little over half a second off that. First round was quicker. Um, part of the, the slow draw here is that as I'm coming up to get the gun out of the holster, uh, since the holster's a little bit tight on the gun, even when I have it loosened as far as I realistically should have it go, uh, it wants to pull the holster up a little bit. So of course it's catching on my concealment belt and you know, not like pulling the holster out my pants, but I'm not for rambling. Next horse of fire here, a string of fire here. Get those out of there. Ooh. One minor thing I've noticed with this gun is that depending on the angle that you have the cylinder, it will catch your grips. If you're using the factory grips, it won't be an issue. Uh, but the factory grips are terrible for actually shooting. You get a grip adapter, but I like the, these bigger Packmeyer ones. Uh, plus, I think they look better than having a grip adapter with the factory grips. I'm sure people will roast me in the comments for that, but whatever. Whoop. And all good clean hits. We did that in 425, so a a little over how about what three tenths of a second slower than before but good deliberate hits there i'm going for nice good deliberate hits string number four here get those out of there and i'm the last reload here is with a zeta products z pack this is a speed loader that i'm getting used to I don't recall if Dan had written a review on them yet, but I know he he had some. And I've got about four or five. I like them. They're a little bit bulkier than regular speed strips, but you can reliably get five rounds on the gun faster than four with a regular Bianchi speed strip. 
but it's a thing to test. All good clean hits there, 413. So again, the par time for this drill is five seconds from low ready. We're shooting this from concealment and my hits are good. That, my, my most important goal right now is to get good hits because when I took this gun out last and recorded footage for it, my hits were all a little high. So, alrighty, last string of fire, don't fuck it up. I jinxed myself, and no more bullets on me. So technically speaking, we failed the drill, which, you know, the, the, we're this far into it, so I'm not going to be like, oh, boo-hoo. That was just a bad presentation that led to a bad trigger press. Otherwise, we have 24 hits inside of the 5-inch circle there. Again, it, I'd like it to be better. That's all me. It's not the gun. So far, uh, the Roscoe here, and I know I want to pull the gun out since people are really interested in this thing. I've really enjoyed it. After my negative experiences with Modern Smith this year in the form of both of my rimfire guns, it's so weird to get a gun that cost me like a third of the price that isn't perfect, but it's been more reliable than both of those $700 Smith & Wesson guns and uh, just generally very shootable. It's funny to say it, and I'm sure people will be unhappy with me saying this. I have a Model 36, which I've shot on the channel here from the 50s. I like this gun considerably more. The trigger is better. Uh, everything's smoother. The sights are considerably better. The, the, um, just the feel of the gun is better. And uh, I'm not like a Taurus fanboy or anything, obviously. This is the only one that I own right now. But I can appreciate that this gun is essentially an update to an old gun, but not the 856, which is the update to this gun. I like what it is, and uh, I'll be doing a full review on it once I hit crest probably about 1,250 rounds. I'm at about 250 right now, so yeah. I can do better. I'm not going to shoot another one of these today because I feel like that would just be, um, that, you know, that's, uh, I can shoot these until I pass one or I can actually do it the first time. And we got real close there. So, alrighty, thanks for watching and subscribe for more content on revolvers, small guns, big guns, all, all types of uh, pistols and shotguns. So, take care.